Hello, Reborn family. Welcome back. So I just had to come on and show you guys the new pacifier clip, the beaded pacifier clip that I made. Uh, this one was a different one for me. I got the idea from Pinterest and they didn't do a DIY. I just took the picture uh, and it was, it was more of a link to like an Etsy. So I couldn't find a DIY, so I just sort of was winging it. <laughs> uh, this is a beaded pacifier clip, but it's on a chain. And this was not easy to do. <laughs> but I, I just really wanted to try it because I liked the concept of it. But this is on a chain. I'll get close so you guys can see. It's on a chain and the chain is, I love these pacifier clips. They're the ones that go like to a point and I love to put my beaded pacifiers on those. I just, they don't slide around as much as if they're on a regular clip. But uh, I did these beautiful beads, these pink uh, marble looking beads. And then there's some uh, like studded ones that real sparkly. And then here's the end. And so I'll show you what it looks like when you put it on the pacifier. I've got a cute little nook here. So you take it and you put it through like you would a regular clip. And then you hook it. And so this is what it would look like when it's on the baby. Um, this probably could be a little, it could be a little bit shorter, but it was just kind of, I was just trying to do it. Like, so I'll have to modify it a little bit, but that's what it would look like. Isn't that cute? I thought it was so cute. So uh, I got, that's the chain in the background. Uh, I got some of this chain and these are beads. They come on a uh, strand and people make necklaces out of them. And I took those and I undid them. I couldn't get, these are the spacers that came with it. And I couldn't get the spacers to go into the chain. So I just went ahead and just did the beads. But because the chain, it's just chain. It, there's not like the little rings or anything, but it uh, came with the hooks, the hook at the end and the little rings. So <laughs> what I had to do is I'll try to get close. I had to put this tiny little ring on the chain and then attach the ring to the pacifier. I beaded these through then I had to hang on to them, which I let go of them like three times and they went rolling all over the place. <laughs> oh, I was getting so frustrated. So then I had to do the same thing. I had to loop the chain onto another ring, then take another piece of chain, link that on, and then had to turn around and link the end of that one to uh, a ring and then attach the hook. <laughs> And whoa, was that fun. <laughs> That's why I've got my tweezers here, my scissors. I was wearing um, my magnified uh, head head uh, gear here. That I, This is what I do to do fine details and reborns. Um, I had to put these on because I could not see these tiny little rings. <laughs> so anyway, it definitely wasn't easy to do, but I think it is just too cute. And I'll definitely, uh, I've got another set of beads here. So I thought I would try to make a second one now that uh, I kind of know. But I like the fact that it can move a little. I just probably should get a little bit closer. I just, I couldn't get my fingers in between that ring. You know, it was like I didn't want to go too close. So it definitely would help if I had uh, a, like jewelry, pliers, um, that sort of thing, but I could always hang on to it with a pair of tweezers. It's just, it's so, you know, it's so tiny that I almost need something I can grip it with better, but I just thought it was too cute. And 
So I'm gonna work on some more of those because I think they're really cute. So there it is. Pretty, huh? I kind of thought so. They, I saw some other ones that they did wire inside the beads and then attached the hook and the, and the ring part to the wire. That seemed a little bit easier. <laughs> so like they took it and they wrapped it around here, beaded the wire, the beads on the wire, and then, you know, did the wire on the end. So I may try that also. I think it might be just a little bit easier, but I do like how the chain looks. So I wanted to come on and show you guys that and just say hello and I hope you guys like my last video and seeing my mama. Uh, we had such a good day yesterday. She was supposed to come out here and she were, and we were gonna visit and she had some things for me to look at and to see if I wanted. And uh, But she had to get her oil changed. She had an appointment to get her oil changed. So I said, I'll just come out there and I'll pick you up and we'll drop it off. And you know, so we, uh, we dropped off her car and we just went and grabbed just a little like junior cheeseburger just to tide us over because you you know like the video it, it takes it ended up taking me about an hour and 20 minutes to bake that lasagna so she's like i don't think i can make it and i was like well let's just go get you know a little tiny cheeseburger or something so we went back to her house and i went through the stuff and we were talking and um Abby, the dog next door, came over, and then their cat, Morris, came over, and <laughs> we just, I didn't end up leaving there till almost 10 o'clock last night. We just had such a good time just sitting there talking and visiting and eating lasagna, and uh, I had some VHS tapes that I got from work that were blank, and I was like, I'm going to use your VHS player and see what are on these, so... We were laughing because some of them are really old and they were like really old commercials from like probably 20, 25 years ago. So we were laughing at that. And my mom and I are, she's my best friend. We have such a good time together. And I don't get enough time to spend, like just spend a whole day with her. But because of the coronavirus, you know, she works for a school. So uh, they're shut down. But because she's had surgery, she was off anyway. So it's been an opportunity for me to uh, go hang out with her. So um, we just had a really good time. Uh, I didn't want to leave, but it w I was like, I still got to drive home. And it's about 30, 40 minute drive, something like that. So um, yeah, this, this is a really good day yesterday, just hanging out with her. Uh, I do have Judy today. Uh, I'm going to be working at her house that she's trying to sell uh it'll just be me so I don't have to worry about you know anybody being around because it'll just be me so um I was up early and I was watching videos and I thought you know I'll come on and show you guys my pacifier clip I'm so proud of it uh just because it really was not very easy to do <laughs> But uh, I really do like it. I really think it's uh, very cute. And I definitely want to try to do some more. I think the wire will be really good because then I could use, you know, I could do a gold end or, you know, like a bigger, bigger chain. So I think it'll just be, um, this will be a lot of fun to do. Uh, I just sent off a order for my pacifier and pacifier clips. To, uh, she should be getting it today and I am waiting for the rest of my supplies for my sis Karen she did a big order thank you sis and thank you Casey for uh, making your orders with me hope you guys like uh, your products your pacifiers and pacifier clips so I'm waiting for uh, like two more things for Karen's and then I just have to put it all together. And uh, I just really appreciate you guys making orders with me. And it, they were a lot of fun to make. And I just, I really enjoy making my my pacifiers and pacifier clips. So uh, eventually when I get a little better at these, 
these I'll start offering these beaded clips with the chain uh, right now it's just something that this was only my first one so but I'll definitely be uh, placing uh, I'll be taking orders for these as well so yeah I just wanted to show you guys that say hi and I hope you guys have a wonderful Friday uh, I've been trying to figure out what day I wanted to go live Depending on how I'm doing Judy's, after Judy's, I may go live tonight. I have a video that I put together for times that I'm going to go live. I'd like to do that a little bit more. Uh, I know that I don't go on live a whole lot. Uh, but I thought I would try to start going on doing a live at least once a week. Um, so I will, if you see um, that I've posted the video then I will be live that evening so we'll see how I'm doing after I get back but I hope you guys have a wonderful Friday and I hope you're being safe and you're all well and I will see you guys soon you take care of you